take a deep breath. Stay calm. Just recall everything that has happened. The stool is loose. Well, we were just like any other couple, you know? We, we do stuff together. We go on all sorts of dates. And we were just totally in love. You know, it was perfect. I just couldn't have really seen how bad things would get. You, you just never think this kind of stuff would ever happen to you. One moment, everything's like perfect and fine. The next, you're just, your whole world is completely turned upside down. I miss her. She's addicted to time travel movies. Yeah, so this one I got at a Comic Con, uh, like whenever it came out, but um, I actually met, I met Paul Rudd. I asked him about the time travel scene, and he was just like, it's all CGI. I'm like, there's no. But yeah, I own over 400 time travel movies. It's really cool. Uh, this is only a portion of it, but I do like to keep them on uh, on, ha on hand whenever I'm, I'm in the mood. Just about any type of movie with time travel in it, honestly. Oh, uh, but yeah, and I also got this one off the side of the street. I decided to like adopt it like a stray cat. Um, but some of, some of the stuff that like actually sticks out to me a lot is like the time travel stuff. Romance, space, animated, horror, indie, if you name it, and it has time travel in it, I have seen it. Another movie that really exemplifies like time travel is uh, Meet the Robinsons. It's really, really fun. It's a family cult classic. Uh, you know, there's a big, big intro with uh, with time travel in it. You know, the big scene, I hate goop. Am I having a heart attack? Check my, check my pulse. Check my pulse real quick. Check, check my pulse. He's able to, he's from the same time. He's from our time. But he's able to time travel, and I'm not. I bet I could do what he could. I bet I could, I bet I could be Goop. I bet I could be Goop. I bet I could be the bowler hat man. I have to go to the back to the future. There's also this one, but I, yeah, I didn't have any time travel on it, but I just, I still really like it. It's gone to the point where she thinks she can time travel. No, I can time travel. It's possible. Sometimes she'll stay up like two or three in the morning, just researching how to time travel. No, dude, you're not understanding me. Time travel is totally possible. Y'all haven't done as much research as I have. All I would need is a warp drive, um, some plutonium, and um, some radon as well. But I would also need a perpetual motion device, which we have not invented yet. But I am sure that if I keep on going and I keep on persisting, I will be able to invent it. I will be the first person to ever invent a perpetual motion device. I called over my best friend to come and see if we can hold an intervention. Okay. It's got a real bad end. How bad is it? Like, out of, like, out of control. She's in the garage building a time machine. Maybe, maybe there's a chance that she's still in there. You know, like the girl I first met. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really, really scared. Hey, baby. Hi. Well, what's going on? What, what are well, you? I brought your sister over to discuss the time travel. You have a serious problem. What the hell are you guys talking about? I'm in the middle of scientific genius. I'm I'm literally building a time machine right now. Well, baby, that's just it. We think this this whole obsession with time travel is just a little unhealthy. Okay, well, I don't know what's so unhealthy about it. First of all, I have impeccable taste. Second of all, I, I'm becoming a literal time traveling genius. Why are you trying to go back in time for a girl? What memories are you trying to erase? I just want to be cool. 